Welcome back. It's time now to take a look at the top business stories. First Gulf Bank to convert 3.6 billion dirhams of convertible bonds into 125 million ordinary shares. M&A activity in the region sees fastest pace in three years. And we find out about what's driving the markets this week. The GCC markets ended lower today, as did the UAE bourses. The DFM fell over 3.5% to close at 1,536 points. EMAR properties lost 4 and 3 quarters of a percent, and Arab Tech dropped 5.5%. Dubai Islamic Bank was down 3.5%, while Emirates MBD fell over 4 and a quarter percent. DU lost over 3%. DP World fell over 6%. 130 million shares were traded, valued at 179 million dirhams. And over in the capital, the ADX lost nearly 2% to close at 2,632 points. Alder Properties dropped over 2 and 3 quarters of a percent, while Suru Real Estate fell nearly 4%. Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank lost over 4%, and Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank lost over 4.5%. In the energy sector, Taka fell 1.5% and Danagas dropped nearly 4.5%. Eti Salat lost nearly 1%. 62 million shares were traded, valued at 83 million dirhams. And now it's time to take a look at the GCC markets, which ended down today. Coming up now, let's take a look at various currencies exchanged into dirhams, followed by the price of oil and a selection of commodities. And now to our top stories. First, Gulf Bank will transform 3.6 billion dirhams of convertible bonds into 125 million ordinary shares. Abu Dhabi's third largest lender said the bonds will be converted at the initial subscription price of 28.8 dirhams per share, and the new shares will be listed on the ADX on February 21st. As a result, the bank's share capital will grow by 125 million to a total of 1.5 billion dirhams. The three-year convertible bonds were issued in July 2008 to fund organic growth, both in the first Gulf Bank's corporate and retail banking unit. Merger and acquisition activity in the region witnessed the best start into a new year in three years. M&A activity rose two-thirds compared to last year. According to the January statistics of research company Merger Market, the Middle Eastern M&A activity reached $3.6 billion until February 3rd, compared to a total of $1.4 billion the entire year before. These figures were led by a deal with UAE Centurion Investments, who sought a 40% stake in new medical center for 1.1 billion dirhams. Merger market officials say the region is on track to pass the $3.4 billion worth of deals registered in the first three months of 2010. A unit of Dubai-based Arab Tech Holding has won a 206 million dirham construction contract from an Italian company working on the development of Abu Dhabi's Shah gas field. A section of Italian energy giant Eni awarded the contract to Arbtech's target engineering construction company and will start work on the project on March 1st. The construction is expected to last 33 months, Arbtech said. The company will set up 12 substation buildings and equipment shelters on an area of 20,000 square meters. 
And in our fast financial news, Kuwaiti Telecom's operated Sane rejected three offers to buy its Saudi operations worth $750 million. A $12 billion takeover currently underway of Tsein by Abu Dhabi's Etisalat depends on the sale of Tsein's Saudi Arabian unit. The Al Khalid sugar refinery in Dubai is looking to reopen at the end of the month. The site was shut on the 1st of February due to a low premium of white sugar prices over raw sugar prices. According to MD Jamal Al Gurair, the company temporarily closed down due to low demand for sugar while prices soared. He said that the company is using this opportunity to do maintenance work. Dubai's economy grew by 2.5% in the first nine months of 2010, compared to the same period the previous year. According to the executive director of the Dubai Statistics Center, Arif Obaid Al Muheri, said that the wholesale and retail sectors were the main growth drivers. The Middle East perfume market is worth an estimated $3.5 billion per annum. That's according to Fragrance Foundation Arabia. The region's perfume market makes up about 20% of the entire 17 billion US dollar global market and thereby ranks the highest in the world in terms of perfume consumption. The average per capita purchase per person lies at a record 350 US dollars. And in international news, sovereign and financial sector Sukuks dominated the market in 2010 with $1.5 billion Sukuks issued globally, a rise of over 50% compared to the previous year. Data from Tsavia Sukuk Monitor reveals that Malaysia accounted for 78% of all Sukuk issues, while the MENA region issued 13.4% of the total in 2010. The government sector continues to lead the market, issuing 71.3% to- of all total Sukuks, followed by the private financial services sector with 10.4%. Adnan Halawi, a senior analyst from Tsavia, revealed the figures ahead of the 10th anniversary of the Islamic Finance Summit in London, which will take place tomorrow. Finance ministers of the world's major economies reached a compromise on Saturday on how to measure imbalances in the global economy. China, though, prevented the use of exchange rates and currency reserves as imbalance indicators. French Finance Minister Christine Lagarde, who chaired the Group of 20 talks, said the deal was nevertheless a significant step forward to better coordinate economic policies. The agreement would help prevent another economic crisis. Ministers and central bank governors agreed on a list of indicators measuring imbalances, including public debt, fiscal deficits, private savings and borrowings, as well as the balance of trade. At Chinese insistence, though, there was no mention of the real effective exchange rate or of foreign currency reserves. One day at a time means agreeing on the indicators first. The next step will be the guidelines. And the following step will be the mutual assessment process. And it's a question of being focused and determined and respectful of other people's view. That's what we tried to do today. That's what we'll try to do tomorrow. It's an ongoing process. And after the break, we take a look at the markets for this week. <laughs> 